shoes? Shoes. They're really fun shoes. I thought you might appreciate that. I will rip those off your feet as soon as you're off the stage. Those are good. Welcome back to New York City. Thank you. I'm yeah. so glad to be here. You grew up in this area, right? You know, I actually was born in Florida, lived in Northern California, moved a ton, but I've been between L.A. and New York for probably 15 years, uh -huh. and I lived here. I've lived here a bunch of times. Yeah, this is sure. the longest I've been here for a while, though, and it's... It's the best city. It is. It is the best city. It is. So now you're playing opposite Peter Krause. Uh, yes. Yes. In, uh, after the fall. Very intense, right? It is very intense. I have uh, I have puffy eyes uh, permanently now because uh, it's a really intense role, and by the end, I'm sort of like. You know. It's hard to cry every day for a living. It is. It is. We know. I know. After the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's really, it's, it's the role that's challenging for me and the most fulfilling that I think I've ever done, mm -hmm. which is amazing. And it's so cool to have audi an audience, you know, sure. where every every day is different and every, you know, the, the sort of interaction is really amazing. Mm -hmm. No two performances are the same. Never. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And you get one day off of this Broadway schedule, yes. right? Which was yesterday. Monday's usually Which was yesterday. Well, what did you do yesterday? Um, I I went and saw um, The Bourne Supremacy, uh -huh. ah. which was really good. Yeah. Yeah. I really liked it. And it's so funny because in New York, this is the difference between L.A. and New York, too. The audiences in the New York, you know, seeing a movie are so energetic, and they talk mm -hmm. back to the screen, and I kind of love it. Right. And I was sitting behind these three guys who were throwing popcorn, and it hit me several times, but they apologized every time, too, that it hit me. And, uh, and you know, and uh, they were really sweet. Um, um, and sort of checking in on me occasionally. Um, the phone, their phone rang, and their ring was uh, incoming booty call. <laughs> I grew to love them. Or can I say shove it to them? I would. I'd say it, Gil, but I don't care what you think. <laughs> See, I was charmed. You were charmed, cool. right. Well. well, you're such a fixture in my house because, you know, those the Spy Kids movies are so huge. And my kids right now, that's their bedtime. They have like a bedtime movie that they're allowed to watch. Oh, it's like their treat. Cool. And right now, the big trend is Spy Kids. And uh, they like the, they like all of them. They're all different. I mean, the, the first one I think is really great also for adults because it's sort of the, you know, there's a little bit, Antonio and I have a little bit more of right. uh, stuff. And then the, I mean, I agree. It's so funny because I have, my boyfriend has two kids and, right. you know, when they, they love the third one is their favorite. So we right. all kind of fight over which one. I said the first was my favorite and Isabella, his daughter, said that's because you're in that one the most. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that makes sense. sense. But my son, like, yeah. it's never occurred to him that, like, a mom is hot. But he thinks you're a hot mom. But look at you. But he thinks but I'm like a crappy mom. mom. Yeah, I'm like a you're disgusting like the hottest mom. No, no, no. But he, would, he, he keeps asking me if I could wear my hair the way you wear your hair in the movie. <laughs> Can't you do your hair like that, mom? <laughs> like, I, I guess I could try. We're going to have Peter Krauser on the show on Monday, but, it, but just give us a brief outline. This is Arthur Miller's uh, s story yes. about a man, who, a lawyer, who journeys into his past to discover how he ended up the way he did. Yeah, and sort of, <clears throat> he's meeting a woman in an airport, and he, the ten minutes before she arrives, he needs to sort of find out if he can love again. And he starts to examine his past and the relationships with women in his life, and one of them being this character, Maggie, that I play, who's certainly very influenced by Marilyn Monroe and, and Arthur's relationship with her, though it's it's uh, it, it's definitely fiction. I mean, it's it's an amazing play that is so complex. Arthur Miller has been there many times, which as an actor is such an honor. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a really beautiful, beautiful play. It's called After the Fall. It's in the American Airlines.